Welcome back, everybody. Dread Six Awaken plays. Playing Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified when I upload videos and or schedule streams. Um, I'm trying to find like doors to elsewhere, but I'm not. I don't find anything here. I'm trying to figure out where I'm missing doors. Is there a door here? Maybe here. Because there doesn't seem to be... There doesn't seem to be a door up here. Just cages. Beautiful! Don't seem to. Oh, there's a door over here. So let's go over here. All right. I guess this is the only place I have to go. Is that a trap? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, how do I... How the heck do I get around this trap? Alright, let's move everybody back here. You can yeah. trust me. So you need to walk, like, down this edge. I hope you appreciate this. Okay. Everybody together. Okay. Uh oh. What am I? This. Cold iron. So land. Are we in trouble yet? Turn that on, because that looks like that needs to have cold iron on it. Right? It needs cold iron. And I guess we just have. Let me move in and see what we've got here. There's another one over there. Okay. We're gonna rest after this fight. Maybe. Camellia. I don't think I should need some bless yet. Dretch are gonna go next. So I think I'm gonna actually have her delay till after. We have Camille go last. Okay, so they just wanna beat on her. Beat on this. Still here? Damage reduction. Okay, yeah, it's points damage reduction. Did my thing. Land. You crossed the wrong mark. Okay, so those arrows make a difference. Celia. Okay. Stop. Stop. What's this? 
No matter the corpses litter around the summoning site, the cultists did manage to summon a demon in the end. Okay. So that's as far out as I can see. There's a door over there. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this room. Take a look here. Well, there was something down here. There was a room down here I didn't go to, right? Down here somewhere? Maybe we should go do that before we go on up here. Somewhere down here there was a room that I didn't go into. <sighs> I don't remember where it was. door there. That's what it was. What do we have here? Well, there's a water elemental there. I think we're going to have her sure enlarge on Celia. I am and a very popular extra planar hero from another planet. Why doesn't anyone here believe it? Oh, I don't have any. They're neutral. I don't have anything that would... I have a potion of haste. Put that on me? Maybe? I'll ask for one round per level. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and charge it. I did some damage to it. Uh, how bad are these things? Oh my goodness! This was a bad idea. Uh, Camellia. Let's use one of our blessings. Put the haste on her. Um, it's not going to do much damage to that thing. You will survive me. Uh, I don't really want to get up close and personal to that thing. Right? So maybe just move over here. Because I don't have the armor class to fight that thing. <laughs> okay, it missed. Good guys always win. The light take you. Okay. Endure this. What is this? Oh, damage reduction five no matter what we do. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Uh, Make every strike count. Oh, I need to quit using cold iron arrows. I really don't want to get up close and personal. I'm gonna be needed to heal people. Uh, move back here. Okay, we got rid of it. This will leave a bruise. Yeah. Uh, Celia. Just 
myself fully heal. Hopefully that'll... She's still taking damage from it. What's her condition? She has to... Okay, that's gone now. Alright, so... Uh, keep using <laughs> these. <laughs> Got 40 of them, might as well use them up. Alright. Is there anything worthwhile in here? Just take me over there. No. There's one down here, too, somewhere. That doesn't look like it was worth it. This doesn't look like this was worth it. Let's see what we can around do. here. I found uh -huh. uh, something. What's this? <laughs> okay. There's something in the corner. Oh, huh. it's all that. The wear cast. I don't have anybody to cast that. Right? She doesn't have any. She doesn't have anything from, uh, that standpoint. Okay. I'm gonna have somebody put that on. Protection from cold. A bright future awaits us. Oh, if we put that on Celia for now. I don't know what else to do. Gives her some saving throws against cold. Uh, oh, she can lay on hands on herself. I didn't realize that. That's a swift action, isn't it? Okay, so she can heal herself for a few points of damage. It is no trouble. So, <coughs> so that's all there is in this room. So I guess we're going up here and going through this door. Whether we want to or not. There I am on kicker, running away from everybody. I guess that's it. I didn't find any other doors. There might be some secret doors I must have missed or something. I mean, it looks like there should be a door here. But I didn't find anything here. Secret door-wise. So, let's just go back up to this thing. door over here? No, there's nothing over here. It's just this door here. Oh, I took that Hosilla's key to unlock that, so this must be leading me to the final... the final fight? You think? It's telling me to camp, but I haven't run, run out of spells or anything. Oh, kicker. Got hit for damage. I don't think I really need to rest at this point. Even though the thing's telling me to rest, I don't think I should. I think I can just keep going. Where am I at on time? 14 minutes. Yeah, if you like what you're seeing, hit the thumbs up, folks. Um, Let's have everybody come down this stairway. I feel a lot more comfortable with everybody down here. Uh, what is this? Okay. I think I'm coming near the... I think I'm coming down to the wire here. This will last for 10 minutes. I'm gonna cast that. 
It's everybody through a f little fear. I think that's about all I can do for buffing right now. So let's move on into this room and see if this is a big boss fight or if I'm... i got to hurry now because I don't have a... Uh-oh. Cutscenes. Where's that? Kills that. Demons. Freaking demons. Alright, let's put up a monster is not human or demon. Even tieflings are less defective than you. Okay. But I, your master, is Sava Melica. Gonna make you a better, stronger, and satisfy your hunger, starvings of the dark. Submit to me. Sentence of Crusaders, trusting a demon would be to betray your very memory. Hasilla? So that's Hasilla, huh? She uses a big nasty glove. Who's the next descendant of Crusaders who values old legends more than their life? Okay. These monsters and human guys reveal your true nature. This is the sweet, wholesome flesh of a righteous Asmir. <sighs> Do you not like this? Eat underground crusaders. Eat the flesh of the crusader from above. Find your true strength. Come on. This is getting sick. It's forcing them to be cannibalistic. You rush at the demon, but the air seems to go thick with every step. You feel like you're watching from underwater as you see Mongo swallow the knees open up to crawl to the Esmer's body. Great air fangs tearing through fashion, you hear the splashing of blood, you hear the former Mongols snarl like animals fighting over the most tender juicy bits of meat. Your companions rear the nag and one clutches at their head. Another doubles over, you feel saliva pool in your mouth, the metallic tang twangs in your hunger. Hunger in you, the hunger returns to rage, the swing filth dares to try to bind you to its will, it dares to tempt you with sweet scent of meat, tainted by corruption. The wretch must die. Die! Still the clarity reigns with you. Somewhere deep down beneath the veil of rage and anger, you sense the light trying to break through. I can succumb to the rage and go down the demon path, but I'm level good. So I guess I have to go down the angel path. Seize the light! You master your rage and almost in response, warmth to from within, warmth and joy from the simple realization you can win. You can save these people. The power of heaven bolsters and guides you. Its light breaks free, enveloping mongrels. Grants them the gift of blissful oblivion, lowering your gaze, you see a scout stain in your chest, the wound is reopened, and instead of blood pouring forth, you see only radiant light. Radiant light! Bolt of justice. I did something to him. You make close pain when the light reaches him. What are you? Destroy this vermin. Destroy this vermin while I run away. <laughs> Still points at you. He's already wounded. Wounded. Wunduag, kill! Wunduag joins the battle. Not good. I'm no longer your slave, Priscilla, but I will gladly kill anyone who pokes their nose. I told the truth. In where it doesn't belong. Okay. Then they're probably gonna go first. Judgment protection. Okay. Uh, she can cast a bless, right? That's good for us. So now we got a bless on us. Uh, maybe I want to get her out of harm's way. I'm gonna turn this so I can see a little bit more. Don't think I want to be all together because I don't know what this. What is this? She's an Inquisitor with 56 hit points. Don't tell me what window egg is. Uh, I want Camellia out of the path. I don't know what to do with her. Uh, she doesn't have any ranged spells. Doesn't have a lot to do. I think I just need to keep her. Maybe move her over here by uh, the archer. Trying to keep her from getting killed here. Okay. 
Okay, I get to go, so I'm going to charge this one. Because charging is what I do. Land, you need to take out Wendua. Okay, we took out Wendua. She can't charge, but she can get right up here on top of this guy, and maybe we'll survive. I don't know. Of a Scylla. Missed. Okay. Shoot. Oh, I don't want to move her up there. She'll get whacked. Uh, have her move up behind me so she can heal us. If we need it. Uh, that'll last a minute. I'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, Damn you! Nine. Six out of 56. Can you hit her? You won't survive me. Nope. Celia? No glory without risk. Not really. Okay, I'm gonna get whacked. Yeah, for twelve. That's a lot. Um you can just heal me. Oh, not kicker. I wanted to get me. <laughs> I got the horse and he's not wounded. That was stupid. <laughs> Alright, let me bang on this. Are you still here? Miss. Oh my god. Lamp? Endure this. Okay. Hooks you now. Oh no, how'd she get behind me? First come, first served. Uh, take these out first. Make every strike count. I'll cut you wide open. Okay, I don't know what these things are. Closets, sixteen hit points. Need good and cold iron. Okay, I need to lay on hands on myself and then whack. The inheritor, guide my blade. Make sure I kill one. Good guys always win. And miss. That's terrible. Um, I still have seven shots of this. Let's take you one out. The wrong um. The I don't think she can do enough damage. Blood. She did a little bit. I'm gonna lay hands on myself again. Me off. It's not exactly okay, so we gotta talk to Wendewig. She's probably gonna put us at the end of the session too. Okay. What else are we supposed to do with you? You're not just a traitor. You're a monster. The young ones believed you, and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh. I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? You're useless, Lan. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. 
I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride, chewing on rats. Okay, first off... Totally smoothed it on Mark, okay. It's gone. It was just there, and now... it's gone. It's gotta be some kind of demonic trickery. You need to have a cleric look at that. <laughs> if he had been marked by the abyss, do you think some nobody priests will be able to help? No, the demons have branded this uplander. And judging by the smell of his blood pouring from his chest, the demons will be able to find him wherever he goes. And they'll find you too, lad. I don't think I can do that. Uh. Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neathers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered. And I follow whomever is the strongest. Huh. Well. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were proud of your heritage. But you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little bit stronger than you. You're not a mongrel. You're a cave slug. You have no understanding of the meaning of family or tribe. Oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe. It benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. Saba Malik is always in need of new servants. You'd make as good a servant as anyone else, and then... <laughs> once you've gone missing in the maze, not even the redoubtable land would have dared look for you. But then why did you come with me to look for the sword? So I could kill you quietly if you found it and stop you taking it to the village, you idiot. I would have told everyone that you got caught in a cave-in. But then the Uplander showed up and I had to change my plans. Yes. Corsilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry. And she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody or live and gain the power to change everything. Sava Malik tore off a piece of an Azimar priestess's thigh. A big, juicy piece. More neat than I'd ever received in the tribe. <laughs> that was the first time I knew what it was like to be happy. To have a full belly. I swore to myself that it would always be that way. Then the madness and rage took over. Huh, this I is... came very close to turning into an animal. No better than the weaklings you saw in the maze. But I am strong. I mastered myself. I brought myself under control. I fell so that I could rise again. Psy complex much? You should have chosen death. Dying's better than living like that. You're saying I should have died that day, Lan. But then who would have listened to your feeble jokes? Who would have showed you the best caves for hunting? Who would have made you a man? 
I would have been fine without all that. And without you. Your death will make the world a slightly better place, Wenduog. It was simple. I lured those I deemed worthy into the maze. To the rest, I told stories of the horrors of the maze, making them stay away. It all hung in the balance when the cave walls shuddered, and many of the young ones decided that the time of their great exodus had come. I had no doubt that Hosilla would dispatch a dozen young meters easily. But what would become of the maze if all the tribes poured in? So when Lan ran off looking for the Angel's sword, I went after him. Not to help him, but to make sure that the sword never reached Neatholm. It's a pity that you got involved and stopped me from killing him. But then again, the evening gong has not yet been struck. You sickened me. Oh, I'm lawful good. I've got a paladin with me. I'm playing the good side. I don't think I'll be able to attack her. I have a feeling she's going to be like, uh, oh, what was his name? The, the gnome in the other. She's going to be pestering me for the whole game. <sighs> I told her to leave. Or I can just attack her for being the evil thing that she is. Ah, well done. You're all bark and no bite. Farewell, Uplander. Next time I won't spare you. Nor will I spare you. So she got away. She's gone. But next time, she won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why'd you have to go and... <sighs> anyway, there's no point crying over spilt milk. I give me a couple of minutes. I'll bring the chief and the rest. I need to clear my head. Scene change. There they all are. Your soul appears, thank you very much. The journey is taking its toll on him. His breath is labored and sweat is dripping from his bloated face. What? What's this? Maybe gives a little whistle. Well, I'll be damned. Turns out old Holrun wasn't isn't as crazy as all thought. There really were demons down here. I should have listened and sent a patrol down here. Damn it! How's the leg? Better than yesterday, worse than the day before. I'm not gonna die. Don't worry. It wasn't enough that I sniffed out every damn shadow in the city. Everybody knows the stories about the demons living beneath the city. Those take tales are as old as crusades themselves. I messed up, but you fixed my mistake, so thanks. So you need to look after the young lions. I don't know what they'll be like when they come to, but look after them, Chief. They went through something horrific day. Not everybody's capable of doing something like that. It will change them forever. As long as they can hunt, the rest can wait. Blender and you, land, you save them. Only the gods can salvage their souls, but we are a tribe. We will think of something. Something. And when they're stronger, they can go to the Sharpets. The time has come. This place must be burned with holy flame. Oh, we're only demons, but that's not the worst part. Windwig, she's been working for the demons all this time. Luring the young, strong mongrels into the maze. She nods at the unconscious mongrels. We might still be able to save these ones. They can't get any stupider, that's for sure. But they might be meaner than they were before. I suppose all teenagers are monsters in their own way. Oh, land, we don't wait for us on people who don't listen to a tribe. You act the fool, you suffer the consequences. So it gives a ragged side. Mendewig, how could she? She deceived them and then she left. What's to become of us? Get up, Chief. The kids you rescued are safe now. The demons are gone and the traitor's been dealt with. All's well that ends well, I say. Okay. I guess we say we need to get out of here? I'm going to lead our visitors to service, so I'm going to keep going. Something interesting is happening out there in the world. Do something useful than skinning cave rats. 
You never were one of us. You always look up. You think I don't see these things? Our life is not for you. You must go. But where? Where is the way out? Beats me, but these bees got down here somehow. Papers and a key. I don't know what these documents are, but I'm sure this key will come in handy. Didn't we just use that for... Cultist dispatch. She came over the letter she passes to these cheeky sons of... This is all the information on the cultists in the city. Their reading places, passwords, their secret hideouts. We should show this to whoever's in charge of Canopus right now. As soon as we get back to the surface, we'll find out what's what. I got the cultist dispatch. Sounds like that's an item. Okay. So, went over a little bit uh, for all the dialogues and everything, but... Uh, can talk to them. I can... Loot. So, let's collect everything. Any other bags here? I don't see any other bags here. So next time I'll run up these stairs maybe and check on my weight. So, put up escapes so that this lasts a few more minutes. Uh, if you like to see it, thumbs up button. If you really like to see it, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified upload videos and schedule streams. Uh, again, this is Dread608. And until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.